And now an update to a story that we first brought to you on Wednesday on the night beat. That's when we told you about a deadly crash at a busy intersection. And police say a driver died after running a red light at the corner of Hildebrand and Howard. But as the night team's John Paul Barajas explains, people are worried that this situation could easily happen again. With each car that zooms by, those who live off Hildebrand and Howard worry there's an accident waiting to happen. It's certainly not at all suitable for the amount of traffic it carries. Sometimes it's one lane, sometimes it's two lanes. And sometimes people don't know what the heck they're doing when they're driving on it. Peter Hugo is the community traffic chair for the Monte Vista Historical Association. He says the intersection is known for crashes, speeding, close calls, and screeching tires as vehicles try to come to a stop. Those are all concerns from neighbor Pat DiGiovanni. It's about people's safety. It's about people's lives. And last night we lost one, could have lost more. And so how many, how many lives does it take before you know, we take action, right? It seems like this one Wednesday night that have neighbors concerned. San Antonio police say the man driving this pickup truck was speeding when he ran a red light at Hildebrand and Howard, then crashed into a car. The people in the car survived, the pickup driver did not. A major concern is if I pull up to this light and stop where I'm supposed to, I have no line of sight. I can't see traffic coming left or right because properties are pushed up all the way under the road. They have high fence lines, trees, and utility poles. So I have to hope those I'm sharing the road with are abiding by the law. I don't ever go when the light turns green because I'm fairly sure somebody's going to do that on me, and they do. Neighbors' concerns have made it to District 1 Councilman Mario Bravo. He says the intersection's traffic lights have been delayed for a longer buffer between red and green. Public Works plans to install a crosswalk next month, and its staff will join Bravo for a meeting with residents next week. When I travel this road, I'm very, very careful, and I know a lot of my uh, fellow neighbors here uh, do the same thing. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.